Okay, every day you guys probably see a load of videos like the best of phase, you know, Apex, the best of phase rain, the best of phase came up montages, the best moments and stuff. So what I thought today, seeing as there is a lot of the complete opposite for me, as well as the best, obviously, there's a lot of the complete opposite, which I think is quite hilarious, like old tweets, some stories and stuff that I'm going to tell you guys. So today this video is going to be the worst of phase K, like the absolute worst, like funny stuff, not like the bad, bad stuff, because there isn't much bad stuff, but like bad, funny stuff. As some of you guys may know, you might even heard some stories and stuff. I'm a really dopey person. I'm a person that sometimes, I'm always in the moment, I'm always in there in the moment, but sometimes my brain just decides to just turn off and I don't like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just very dopey. <laughs> so first of all, I'm going to be showing you guys a few of my old tweets. All right, this first tweet, I don't know why or how or what I was even thinking when I was tweeting this. I tweeted this back in 2012. I tweeted, is your mind in your head? I don't know how to speak about this because this is myself. If I saw someone else tweet that, I'd be like, what an absolute retard. Like, I don't even know. Some of the stuff I used to say, oh my God, some stuff that I'm going to be telling you guys today is very bad. The next tweet of mine that I thought I definitely had to share in this video is, why is it called a catwalk and not a dog walk? The thing is, I remember tweeting that out and that was a genuine, like a truly genuine question that I had. Like I was asking Twitter genuinely that question. I was, I don't know why I asked it, honestly. Now thinking back about it, I, I, just, it, I, was a re I still am a retard, but back then I was more of a retard. Like, I don't know, man. Why is it a catwalk and not a dog walk? I don't know how, just, why do I tweet that? What? <laughs> and there's no point in me going back and deleting these tweets. They have been screenshotted, tweeted at me multiple times. The next thing I tweeted was, uh, if a man has a vagina, does that make him a woman? Thinking about it now, I still don't know the answer, so I'm just going to have to leave that one. So I think with my old embarrassing tweets and stuff, that is going to be it for the tweets. You guys can go and search my old tweets if you really want and find some more. Because I know there is going to be plenty, plenty more. Maybe not as bad as that, but there's going to be more. The next thing I want to speak about is my yearbook quote. You guys might know this as like your senior high school quote if you're in America. Like, you know when you leave school, you leave high school, everyone has a book, all your classmates, Mates, you each have a quote you like each have your individual quotes yeah my quote was this one phrase that stuck with me throughout the whole of school since i said it pretty much i'll give you a rundown of the story i was in america it was my first time being in america i was over in new york state uh, in killington skiing with my friends we're on a school trip skiing and i was staying in a room with my friend bill and callum and we had been there for a few days or so this was our first massive trip like bear in mind we were back like quite young i think we we're about 14 15 years old traveling to america back then was like a really big thing for us like going that far and because i was way in america obviously when you're away you do everything you can to not be sick and I remember I came into my hotel room I was with Bill sitting on the bed and my friend Callum he was speaking to us he was just like oh, I'm feeling really homesick like I don't know like I'm gonna go and call my mum and stuff I just want to have a chat with her like I'm just feeling really like homesick feeling really down and immediately right I'm sitting there next to Bill Callum's on the front of me and I immediately got that I'm just, I'm just like oh shit can I catch homesickness can I catch homesickness can I catch homesickness <laughs> And ever since that moment, that will stick with me for the rest of my life. And they were just laughing nonstop. They went out the room and they told everyone in the whole school trip. And for the rest of the time till I left school, that stuck with me the whole time. It ended up being my yearbook quote. So yeah, guys, this is my yearbook quote. This screenshot you're seeing right now, that is my actual yearbook quote. Can you catch homesickness? I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. It was so long ago, I, I just don't, like, I don't know. When I have these moments, I don't know. And I've seen a lot of bad yearbook quotes, but mine, can you catch homesickness? It's just going to be something like, like, when I'm older and I have kids, they're going to be like, oh, how was your successful, like, school story? Like, I want to see your yearbook quote. I want to see how amazing, like, oh, I was number one in the football team. And I'm just, they're just going to look at it. I'm going to show them my yearbook quote is going to be, can you catch homesickness? And they're going to be like, my dad is a retard. Okay, guys, well, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Let's try smash 2,000 likes on this video. If you want me to go back and find some more old tweets, I will go find some worst tweets of mine. Make a video of me, like, reading them out. I'll, I'll make that, like, next week if you want, if this breaks 2,000 likes. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in my video tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.